This is astronaut Bill Hudson aboard spacecraft Venturer. Due to the advanced speed of our craft, according to our Earth clock, we have traveled some 105 years, eight months, five weeks, four days, and 11 hours into our own future. Therefore, we conclude that Dr. Stanton's theory of time thrust is correct. Man can propel himself into the future. What's going on? Look at the Earth clock. It's gone wild. We made it. But where? It looks like Deming, New Mexico, except for the ocean. Look at your watches. According to mine, Earth time is the year 3,979. But that's impossible. That means we've come more than 2,000 years in the future. And it doesn't look like we'll be getting back very soon either. Unless someone comes to get us. We've got two days' rations in the survival packs, so we'd better find food and water quick. life on this planet. Earthquake come and go without a trace. Higher ground over there. Maybe we can spot her. We've got to. No one just disappears. noticed it before. Where'd you get these? Brent, Ronald, USAF number 55338086086. Date of birth, May 2nd, 2079. When did we enter the space program? April 1973, wasn't it? That's more than a hundred years before this guy Brent was born. Someone is already here who wasn't even born when we left Earth.
Brent. Where is Brent? I don't get it. The stupid humanoid beasts in their caves. Sitting ducks for us. Charge! They're apes! They can speak! Let's go. Charge the caves! Charge the caves! the wagon cages! Bring up the wagon cages! <laughs> Bill! What happened to Bill? <coughs> we got all of them, Arco. Good. Take them to Ape City. Yes, sir. Reports have reached us that Urko is bringing humanoid captives. Good. That will give Zira and me an opportunity to obtain new research animals. I sometimes think, Dr. Zayas, that without your patronage, simian science would soon die from disinterest. Children, never forget, the free ape is he who does not fear to go to the end of his thought.